Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Ghost Thief Deadly Shadows. Today is a fairly simple affair. We're tackling day five in the city. This is not very different than day four was, so it should be pretty quick and dirty. Let's get started. We start off in the Keeper Library as before. We have a cutscene to watch and then we'll loot the library and then we will head out. Not a lot of changes, no new city sections yet, so... I'm gonna grab the copper ring before I go to the Forbidden Library. Good, glad to see you're busy. Just to get that done. Uh, let's uh, let's check things out. Let's see what's going on. Uh, sounds like Orland is out and about and talking to people somewhere. If I can find him. Here's Keeper I sold. Eh? I'm gonna pickpocket her wand as always. Have you no respect at all? Uh, lifted it right off my belt. Okay, the Forbidden Library is that way, so let's... We'll take the back entrance into the Forbidden Library as usual. In the meantime, I'm gonna check the upstairs just because... You know, if Orland is out and about, then... I like to see him because he's one of the few people who has a unique model. Yep, there he is. Do you have anything for me to pickpocket? No. That was quite uncalled for. Is his office open? Try to keep an eye on him. Nope. Wonder if he's still gonna tell me that Orland is busy, even though he's outside wandering around. No, but he's not gonna let me in either. Did you push me? Sure did. Okay, to the Forbidden Library we go. That's where our cutscene's gonna happen. I don't know if it's gonna boot me out to the streets first, or so I'll have to come back in, or if I'll be able to loot it, but let's give it a whirl either way. Hit our secret secret switch. Head on out. Silence. Kataka is about to begin. This passage here speaks to us now. Very powerful. Sabor temporalis nundame. Or malus. When the progress Pre of time ceases, the one will be appointed. No, no. Cor malus repotorta in visita bloom. The evil ones will be pointed out for all to see. When the progress of time ceases, what could it mean? We must wait and watch. The meaning of the prophecy will become clear in time. Wait. After I found your precious book? No. When time stops, the evil will be pointed out, or whatever she said. Don't you want to know what we're up against? <laughs> what would you do? Stop time with your bare hands? You cannot make the prophecies come to pass, thief. It is folly to think so. You can't. But maybe I can. I could break into the clock tower in Stone Market. Find some way to stop the clock from running. Perhaps the Stone Market clock could be considered a symbol of time. But if you are suggesting sabotage, you would accomplish nothing. Except further enraging the Hammerites. With Kataka so close to discovering the Brethren and Betrayer, Garrett. I'm not going to sit around doing nothing. That's your job. Fool! I forbid you to go to the clock tower, or to interfere with the prophecy in any way. You forget. I don't take orders from you. He has left the First Keeper, Orland. Yes. I can see that. Yes, it looks like it is booting me out to the streets. I'm just gonna... 
immediately head back into the library so I can loot it. Of course, we do... We've completed the objective, visit the Forbidden Library to hear Katika read from the Compendium of Reproach. We've added the objective, break into the Stone Market Clock Tower via an upper story access pipe in Stone Market Plaza to sabotage the clockworks. All right. But for now, we'll go back into the library. Trust is hard to come by these days. All right, now I'm going to head right back to what I was trying to do earlier. Back into the Forbidden Library. This time I should be able to loot it. Same as last time. Nothing in this first room. Through here, we find another rare book on the stand. Worth a hundred. It's easier this time. There's no, uh, there are no conversations in here, so there are no extra AIs. Which is nice. All we have here on the second level is the usual... The usual patroller with the torch and the purse. Hmm? Oh, he green alerted. Let's head the other direction. When we get up those stairs. This should let us come out behind him. He's heading to the right, so I'm going to try to come out this door and nail him after he passes by. Shouldn't be too tough. Fifty gold will trigger a comment shortly. With that done, we can head up to the third floor. To the left, at the top of the stairs, is another rare book, as usual. Worth another hundred. Nothing in this central area. All we need to do is get past the homes here. I don't think there's anyone here at this top balcony this time. Nope. So inside this room, gold goblet, rare book, like always, worth 75 and 100. And then inside the secret room, one other gold goblet, another 75. That's it. We're done. Time now to close the secret door and head back out to Stone Market. No problem. Day five is one of the easiest days to move about the city. I think it's because their intention really was for you to just go straight to the clock tower. But so all they have are their standard routines for populating the city with AIs and loot, which like I said, makes it pretty easy to get around, especially compared to some of the days we have coming up. We're over halfway through the game now, if you can believe that. This game is much, much shorter than the other two. Hopefully Thief 4 will sprawl and be huge. Oh, we're safe now. Let's 
head out to Stone Market. See you out there. There's some construction going on right outside my window. It is terrible. The noise is killing me. Anyway, I digress. Well, being done in the library, I'll give that a real save. Let's clear Stone Market. Our usual watchman is here, so just be careful of him as you sneak in and grab that moss arrow. I think I'll actually wait over here to try and get behind him and go through Tursa's courtyard. Alright. <clears throat> In, into Tursus Courtyard, no problems. Let's grab this gas arrow. This is the last time you'll be able to get it, so enjoy. Get the moss arrow from the bottom of Mr. Brent's apartment. Let's go ahead and open his chest as we've done before. Say your goodbyes to Mr. Brent. This is the last day that we're going to see him. He disappears after the clock tower falls. So since it seems to be flagged to time, I'm going to go take care of a few other things before I go after his chest this time. I'll just loop around, I'll go ahead and clear the tavern and the storage area and do everything else before I head up there. I'll do his, uh, do his chest last. So for now, just wait for the watchman to set off that direction and move in behind him. the way, peasant. He's kind of a jerk to the common folk. Wall flattened to get by him. Grab the moss arrow at the base of the tree. Now I'll go ahead and hit the tavern. Up, right, left. This good old lock. Hope I get the easier configuration, but... Either way, looting the tavern's never too tough. I hear someone moving. Yep, there he is. So we'll move in to the ground level behind him like we've done before. Go after the copper coins first. Say I just don't like mutton. Someone's made off with it. Probably my old echo. There's the yellow alert for the missing coins, as usual. Don't really know what I'm looking for. Guess it was nothing. Sorry to get you all riled up. Alright, we're gonna have to deal with the falling junk Wasting bottle, I see. Him. Just a figment of my imagination. Well, maybe not. Let me quick save real quick, folks. Sorry about that, folks. Had to take a phone call, but we're back. We're waiting for everybody's yellow alert to settle down before we go get the wine bottles behind the bar in Stone Market Tavern. I don't know if we'll have to deal with the junk bottle or not. Oh good, we won't. 
I don't really care about the controller. We got the easy layout for the bottle. Can't watch in every direction. And that's every much direction more important. All the time. If you ask me. One day, looking the wrong way, they ain't get you. So there we have the two bottles. That I think gives us everything except uh, Brent's purse and the silver coin from the keeper storeroom. And I find it easier to move on this guy when uh, he's headed the other direction and get out behind him. So that's what I'll do. Nice and easy. I was there. Uh, you gotta be more careful than that. If not, then you deserve what you get. Uh. So I'll follow this watchman up the street in order to hit the keeper storeroom. As soon as he decides to turn around and head back up the street, of course. Now we can head in here and get the silver coin. Another 50. So the last bit is getting Mr. Brent's purse. Last time we have to go through this as a difficult exercise. So, good. Perfect timing on the watchman. Onto the crates, up to the balcony. <laughs> get to a safe spot and hopefully we've given him enough time not to care about his chest being open very good let's go ahead and get started on the hard part now getting to the wall with only a green alert all right found what I think is the sweet spot here we go aha the watch will protect my Oh, that's devastating. Let's try it again, shall we? Alright, on your feet. Let's keep it a little farther left. That was odd. And it's a yellow that time. Better, but still no dice. Same idea. Go. I. <sighs> Damn. That was. I have to tell you, folks, and I'm sorry you have to hear about my personal day like this, but. Hello. <gasps> Gotta find the. I've had a miserable few days here. If you don't know, I live in a high-rise in downtown Chicago. And it's been really warm here the last couple days. It's been sunny, 60, 70 degrees outside. Well, that's nice. I'm not complaining about that. The issue, though, is... Barracks! The watch you, will... The issue, if you know this area, is that Chicago has notoriously harsh winters. The central heating in all the high-rises is on from October 1st to April 1st, as a general rule. So, Barracks. if it's warm outside and the central heating is on inside, your little apartment, the little nook, turns into an oven. It's been awful. I think I've been too far over to the right, so. Let's try moving closer. 
crossing closer to the chair and then angling right at the end. Barracks! Gotta find the watchman! Ah, uh, Garrett. <sighs> oh, this is the last time I have to do this little dance. I can't tell you how exciting that is to me. Alright, again. Ah, uh, out of the corner of my eye. Ah, uh, yellow. Not good enough. Better, but not good enough. Let's try it again. Ready? Go. Aha! Garrett! The worst is when Garrett just doesn't wall flatten the first time I push the key. That's just straight up frustrating. Again. <gasps> the watch will protect my business Damn from it. you. I hate this little prick. I am fed up with Mr. Brent. I'm happy he dies in the clock tower accident. <gasps> the watch will protect my business really? from you. Oh man. I still haven't isolated what exactly makes this work sometimes as opposed to others. I mean, I've played around with the exact point where I cross, the exact point where I wall flatten. I haven't figured it out. Sometimes it just works. Let's try again. Hello? Well, see, that time, I was exposed forever, but he only yellowed. I feel like other times I move fast enough, but he goes straight to combat. Well, his version of combat, which is running and calling for Benny. Don't know, don't know, just don't know. Hello? Perfect. Got it, finally. Wait for him to settle. Well, I shouldn't worry so. No, you shouldn't, butthole. Are my eyes going? They certainly are not. Uh, guess stuff just looks different at night. Well, that's correct. Got the purse, another 50 gold. Let's move over. What's that? Ah, forget it. And let's get out. <sighs> Hello? Damn, yellow. I gotta admit, that's the first time he's yellowed from me coming off the wall. Getting out is usually easier on me, but... Oh well, one more try. <sighs> Not even a green! How do you like that? Okay. I'm gonna wait till I see the watchman turn around and head the other way. Just so I can loop back around and close the chest without any commentary from our dear Mr. Brent. Who, I feel the need to reiterate, we are done dealing with as he disappears after day five, after the clock tower is down. So awesome, awesome, awesome. So with that descent made, we will go close his chest. Hello there. Evening. Which we should be able to do what with was it he asked for? no oh, yeah. comments from anyone. Spiced methaglin. Huh. I told him. What? You think we got those pagany drinks here? We got ale, and we got ale. Now which do you want? Spiced methaglin. <laughs> That'll be the day. And I'm gonna tackle anything when I walk in the beat. The entrance to the next mission is here in Stone Market Plaza. So Stone Market proper and South Quarter and the docks are all diversions if you want to think of them that way. I'm gonna do Stone Market proper 
first. Just because it's sort of on the way to South Quarter. So here we go. I'll see you in Stone Market proper. I'm going to do a real save here at the start of Stone Market proper, then take a little break to go do some chores. So. Make the save with the plaza cleared, and I will be right back. See y'all in a bit. And we're back. To pick up some supplies for dinner tonight. Got a grocery list text from the wife. So here we are in Stone Market proper. Nothing's changed here. Let's read the crime report from day four. City Watch Crime Report, District of Stone Market. The following criminal incidents occurred last evening in the vicinity of Stone Market. Zero citizens were murdered. Zero citizens were rendered unconscious by a blow to the head. Zero items of valuable property were reported stolen. Three locks were unlawfully picked open. The above is a true and complete record of events. All residents are encouraged to report suspected incidents of crime to the nearest City Watch authority, signed the Office of the Commissioner. Move into the watch station, same as always. Two broadhead arrows, and one silver coin, which will cause a yellow alert when Someone's we grab it. Someone's made off with it. So we'll wait for that alert to settle. I better check around once. Whatever that was. Who'd be creeping around at this hour anyway? Later, bro. So now we get the usual three gold coins out of the donation box. At 75 each. The fire arrow out of the torch. Since we're at Black Market Bertha, I'll sell my metal and gems. Did I mention? You don't have to call me Black Mark. Now up these steps. Grab a water arrow, like always. Then... Stinking cops. Mantle over the barrel. Creep onto the small one. And then down to the ground. Criminals, thieves, thugs, hooligans. Get the moss Watch arrow from the base of this I'm tree. Patrolling the street tonight. Then we'll head through the stonecutter's house. Triggering the ever-present green alerts as we do so. A sec. So let's roll upstairs. Get the copper ring off the end table. There's 25. Should be good to shut it now. Ruby and silver coins off of this table, 125 and 50 respectively. And there are probably still hammers on this street. <laughs> Ooh, that was close. But, no alerts. Always welcome. Let's get this moss arrow out of this tree. And since they both seem to be patrolling a circle, we'll get the gas arrow from the main entrance to the clock tower. Now we are set to clear Cothran's armory. Same loot in there as usual. Let's wait till they're at least around the corner. Must I help? All right, gotta wait. Apparently, no problem with waiting. No problem. Thy 
next blow strike home. Let's let them get over behind the apothecary where I know they'll get to eventually. Now I should be good. So in here, two broadheads to the left. Inside the safe, which is picked with up, right, left, are the same silver coins as always. When that's done, we're done. Stone market proper is clear. Just need to head out now. Iron and stone shield thee. Would probably behoove me to wait to move on the stone cutter's house. The scales didst fall away from his eyes. Until they're over behind the apothecaries the again. Night. And he took he armor and struck he about him against his false friends, calling out to the builder to save him. And was he saved? <sighs> I'll just wait for them to get what should be far enough away not to alert. Open up. Roll in. I think I'll take the balcony exit this time. Just because it puts me right where I need to go. With the rest of Stone Market already cleared. Right, left, left, right. You should have heard the green alert from the guy way down the street. I hear the other watchman right underneath me right now, but sounds like he's currently heading back up the street, so let's get down from here, hopefully without taking any damage, which is easy enough to do, and back to Stone Market Plaza. And straight through to South Quarter is all we're going to do here. Now, since I didn't see them yesterday, I'm positive I'm going to see the Widow Moira's thugs today when I go back to Garrett's house. So, no fuss here. Straight through to South Quarter. Nice and easy.